What's going on guys? My name is Mitch Robs and today we are doing Sinkhole North. So, um, this one's actually kind of, um, what's the word for it? It's kind of an expensive amp and this is why it's taking so long to get this video out. It's because it's a beefy amp. Um, the recording of it took a really long time and counting all the traps and stuff took a really long time. So I hope you guys enjoy this. This is a really solid build. Um, and we'll get on to it. So if you guys like this video, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, all that stuff really helps. And I have a creator code, Mitch underscore Rob's underscore. Consider using it if you use an item shop pur purchase. Um, it really helps out the channel. Um, but I also have a Discord. If you need help with trap crafting and stuff like that, we have a crafter section in there. Nobody's gonna like craft every single trap for you all at once, but it can be helpful if you don't have all the perk up and stuff needed. But let's get on to the build. So what is Sinkhole North? Sinkhole North is going to be the North Amplifier. It's kind of Northeast um, and it's in a giant pit. Um, the one big thing about Sinkhole North is it gets hit by wave 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28 and can get hit by random waves. Um, wave Most of the waves um, aren't very hard but I think it's like wave 18 and 28 can get hit by mini bosses so you have to take that into account it's always guaranteed to get hit by mini bosses then as well as um wave 23 is a fire smasher wave uh now it wouldn't be that big of a deal having fire smashers um if it weren't for the fact that they six spawn at one time so that's something we have to account for um and this is why it's like a tricky amplifier right because six fire smashers those are probably the the hardest to kill smashers in the game um that's what we have to deal with as well as um this it just has funky terrain so it's it's a pretty hard amplifier and you have to make it beefy there's so many different spawns but anyways let, let's go over the rundown of this so we're gonna have three different damage tunnels in this so they're just going to be your normal damage tunnels uh, with your sound walls and stuff. And then we're going to have a Smasher Bridge and TP loop on this amplifier solely because we get hit with so many mini bosses. And I, I've gotten dancers to work before on this amplifier, but never consistently enough to where I want to release a dancer. So we're going to have our mini boss TP loop and Smasher Bridge, and that'll play really well into our Sinkhole East. On Sinkhole North, Smashers don't ever leak through, but on Sinkhole East, they can with the really cheap build that I made. So that's that's why we're um, having the Smasher Bridge. Um, but let's get to the structures on this. So this is going to have 144 traps total. Yeah, I know that's a lot. Uh, 251 structures of metal for 15,060 metal and 395 structures total for sinkhole north i think this is by far by far the most expensive amp we have like by far i'm not even exaggerating that's like i i looked at it and i was like damn you big girl so let's get on to the traps of this amplifier so we're gonna have 21 ceiling electric fields with all durability 10 ceiling electric fields with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. 14 ceiling gas traps with crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration. 16 wall darts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. 6 crit rating, or er, 6 wall darts with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. 4 sound walls with all durability, 1 blue reload, 1 legendary reload. Four sound walls with all durability, two reload. Two sound walls with all durability, purple reload, legendary reload. Two sound walls with all durability, one reload. Ten broadsides with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Seven broadsides with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Eight wall dynamos with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, heals builds attached. Four wall dynamos with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability. Two wall dynamos with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Four wall launchers with three impact, two reload speed, and heals builds attached on the end. The heals build's pretty important. We're gonna have three wall launchers with all durability, two reload speed. Seven uh, wooden floor spikes with double crit rating, double crit damage, heals builds attached. 
We're going to have three floor freeze traps with all durability, two reload speed, effect duration, two all durability tar pits, three ceiling zappers with crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability, retractable floor spikes, four of those, and they're going to be crit rating, double crit damage, damage, durability, four ceiling drop traps with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload, durability, and one flame grill uh, floor trap with crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration. So 144 traps in total. All right. Um, I know it's a lot, um, but this is a super solid amp and honestly, it's cheaper than my last one, ironically. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get on to the building. Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be doing Sinkhole North, and I suggest going and grabbing popcorn, maybe some G Fuel, something like that, because this is going to be a big one. Um, she's a hefty build. Uh, I did not realize that, but when I counted the structures for it, she ended up being 393 in total and 144 traps. So um, that's just because I make a damage tunnel for every single pathway. So we're going to have to deal with that. But first, we're going to start by making a little bit of improvements to the last builds right because things constantly change in the game and stuff like that um and i want to help you guys um improve the builds even over time i'm still still testing things but for some reason i don't know when this started happening but a blaster beats on this he never breaks it right um out of all the runs i've ever had he's never broken this wall um, for Northwest West, right? Or for Storm Shield West. Um, but a lot of people don't like that, so I'm just gonna slap a wall dynamo on it. Bam, let's go find that. Uh, heals, builds, attach, wall dynamo. There's some reload speed on it. Damage, crit, damage, crit rating. You know the works, so we're gonna place it right here. He only goes for that wall, so... There we go, we're gonna kill him now. The other little improvement that we're gonna make is kind of strange, right? Um, through all of my testing, I found that the husks like to go here, drop down and into the tunnel. After I did that video though, um, the husks were dropping right here, and they were diagonaling into this. Um, so really, really strange, um, but the fix I found for that is I'm just going to place a wall here and here. Um, those are just the two walls, make sure they're tier 3 um, but as you guys can see, I'm kind of holding up these two walls, and we placed them last build. Um, and I just wanted to hold them up with some tiles, so these aren't necessary right here. I'm just keeping them there at the moment, so these two structures that I already placed are held up. But we're going to be talking about Sinkhole North. So um, let me get my Xenon bow out so I can point and act like a little endurance wizard. So we're going to talk about Sinkhole and this is single amp right here. It's my A amp. Um, it's a lot of the problems in Candy Valley Endurance are single amp. Um, everything else is kind of easy. Um, I mean, there's some challenges here or there, but this is the one that everybody has problems with. This and Flex Amplifier, but we don't have Flex Amp just yet. So why is this a problem? Well, North, I wouldn't call it necessarily a problem, but it does get hit with a Fire Smasher wave on wave 23. Uh, where six smashers spawn off the bat, and that's where the trouble comes for a lot of people. Um, and Sinkhole North has a lot of spawns you have to account for, so that's why it's hard for a lot of people and why it has to be such a big build. So we're going to go look at spawns. So the first Icky Dicky spawn is going to be right up here. Um, this just is a weird spawn. Uh, it doesn't happen very often, and you might go 15 runs without it. But the one run you aren't prepared for it, um, it's going to screw you and everything's going to go through your tunnel or not through your tunnel and hit your amplifier. So you have to kind of build for it. All right, we're going to upgrade that real quick. Oop. There's also a spawn all the way up here. So they spawn right back up in here. Um, why is that an issue? Because they have a couple drop downs like they could drop down right there and they could come all the way over here, drop down, drop down and then they could go. So they could drop down here, walk over here and towards the amplifier. So those are two of the high spawns. Now there's spawns down below as well. So we're gonna come down here to the river and there's actually a spawn right along here. So this is the spawn and then they have a spawn right up here. So that's four unique spawns we have to account for. 
um, which is why we have, I'm not going to say issues with this amplifier, but why people struggle with it. Because we pretty much solved it at this point. Um, this side, we use a smasher bridge for this amplifier solely for the E side because it just gets railed by war games modifiers. Um, but this side, smashers don't make it out of the tunnel and it's a really good build. So we're going to come over here before I forget. And this is held up by these little floors, but that these floors aren't going to be there. So let's work on our little tunnel for this rare spawn. So we want the husks to actually, from this, come right over here. We don't want them to drop here. That's why this wall is here. We want them to cut right down here and then walk this way down into this tunnel. All right. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're just going to add a wall here. We're going to add a wall here. A floor, a floor, a wall. We're going to add a wall here, a floor here. So now that's attached and we can actually break these three floors. And we don't necessarily need those three floors, but um, I just had three floors there so I would remember it. All right. And uh, we are going to uh, upgrade all that, but I mean, I'll upgrade that later. I'm just pretty anal about that. Like if you've ever watched my uh, Storm Shield videos, where I'm explaining it for lower level players, I tier three as I go for them because I think it's super important for them. But we're gonna take a ceiling electric field and we're gonna place it right here, all right? We're gonna place an all Dura two reload speed wall launcher and place it here. We're gonna place a wall art with a crit rating, uh, crit damage, damage reload speed, durability. We're gonna place it here. We're gonna place a tar pit. We're gonna place one broadside with a reload speed, crit rating, damage, crit damage. And we're gonna place another one that's gonna be the double crit damage one. All right. So those are the broadsides we're gonna have and we're also gonna have a wall dart right here. Um, I wanna say it's a wall dart. I think I put a dynamo here initially, but I think a wall dart would probably be better. So just like a reload speed one. All right. And that should cover most husks that wanna come right down here. Um, they're also going to be fed right into a tunnel down here, and we'll get to that tunnel later, right? Um, when we get cover this spawn down this way. All right. So now we're going to actually talk about this tunnel down here, right? So how do we want them to path? We want the husks from down here to walk along this river. We want them to come up this, right? Because they can't come up right here. They could potentially, I don't even think they can come up right here. So they have to walk over to the right here. They walk here, up of this, come over here, and then walk this way, right? So that's gonna be our pathway. We're gonna make it as straight as possible for them. So one of the things I want us to do first is we're gonna add a floor here. We're gonna go out one, two, three. We're gonna go over one. We're gonna go back one, all right? So we're gonna have a little bit of spawn trap here with all Dura ceiling electric fields. Um, and that's just because this amp gets hit a lot, and uh, I think that durability is super important right there. We're then going to add a wall here, right? So the husks are going to be walking up this, down this pathway, and we're going to have a wall dart there. And this is mainly for smashers to get that little bit of extra damage before they get farther into the tunnel. Okay. So we're then going to come right here, and we're going to place a wall. We're going to place a... I want to say uh, another wall here. We're going to line this with walls, except for right here. This is going to be a windowed wall. We're then going to come right here. And we're going to place a cone facing the northeast, surrounded in walls. Uh, and this is a wall right here as well. And we're just going to have walls lining this as well, uh, leaving this one open because uh, husks need to come up right here. I'm gonna fill in this block off here as we go solely because um, if I try to go over all of the block off later, I'm going to forget a lot. So we don't want that. So we're gonna place a cone here, uh, face it towards the northeast, and we're gonna surround it in walls. A cone here, face it towards the northeast and surround it in walls. Okay. And that's the start off of our tunnel right there. Now we're gonna keep going forward and there's gonna be a floor right here. They should be able to walk up this um, right here, but if you had it like right here, they would stop their movement. So we can't have any floors here. And one of the reasons I don't like floors there is because say I have floors here, right? And we somehow find a path 
uh, to get them up here. Like, say they could walk... Well, I don't even think they can walk right there. Uh, anyway, say we got them a walking path right there. If this blew up to a propane, the rest of the floors would become unusable and they'd try to find a way through our block off. So that's no good. So, But they can walk up this if we can walk up it, so that's why we have that there. We're going to have a wall here. We're then going to come right over to here and we're going to add a little bit of block off. We're going to have a cone facing the northwest, a cone facing the southwest, wall, and wall. So that's going to serve as a little bit of block off so they don't go off to the east and they path to our southwest. We're also going to have like a little divergence pillar. So right here, we're going to have this pillar here so that they can't skirt this corner. So they can walk up this, uh, but we don't want them cutting the corner too quickly. All right, now that we have that, we're going to keep going forward. Um, This is going to be a little bit weird with how this is connected. I'm trying to look at my screenshots so I can get this perfect for y'all. Um, but we're gonna come to right here to this wall. We're gonna have a wall up. And we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five floors like that. Once we have that, we're gonna go one floor more forward, and then we're gonna have one to the west and one to the west like this. And we're going to have ceiling electric fields on those. We're going to go all the way over to right here. We're going to build one up right here, one up right here. And we're going to place a floor and a floor. Ah, I can't build up there. We're going to place a floor right here or a ceiling, I guess. Um, I like this solely because these guys can't walk onto this. Um, if we had it like this with ceiling electric fields, they could walk onto it and I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal, but um, that's why it's bent up like this. We also are going to do kind of the same thing right here. We're going to go up to and place a wall or a ceiling or whatever it's called. They're right there and a ceiling right here. All right. We're going to continue and we're going to place a wall right here and this is just going to be to prevent flingers from throwing right here if they somehow make it through the tunnel to this point they would be able to throw right here and we don't want that all right and we'll have a damaging trap up here i just don't want to trap it all at like trap it as i go at the moment i'm gonna do like one tunnel trap it one tunnel trap it one tunnel trap it so that you guys um can necessarily get the traps uh to do this but we're gonna keep going forward and we're gonna have another uh ceiling right here we're gonna have walls on each side of this wall here wall here and we're also gonna have like a little pathing uh what is it called a pathing little uh i don't even know what this is called hot dog wall yeah what's called a hot dog wall and we're gonna also have a wall launcher right here we're gonna keep going forward we can't have a floor right here why? Because this is one of those crappy, uh, this is one of those crappy ramps where if you can see my feet right now, my feet aren't standing correctly. Uh, they're kind of like I'm standing on a flat wall or a flat floor. Um, and that's one of the reasons why this ramp doesn't work. So if you have a floor there, the smashers will actually try to go through this little block off right here and go up through this ramp over here. So we can't have a floor there. It's one of those strange things that um, Epic just hasn't fixed and hasn't even acknowledged. We're then going to place our little hot dog wall here, a ceiling above, and then a wall here. We're going to go floor, floor, wall, 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 ceiling, ceiling, wall. All right, and that should be our tunnel right here. Uh, we're also going to add another hot dog wall right here, uh, just for a little bit more pathing purposes. All right, and now we're going to focus on our traps of this. Um, there's going to be a lot. Just simple enough. All right. So we're going to keep going all the way forward, and I'm just like checking my screenshots and making sure I get this right for you guys. So we're going to take our all durability uh, ceiling electric fields, and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five of them right there. So that's going to kind of spawn trap them a little bit. We're still going to have all durability ones and we're going to keep going this way until 
Let me check exactly the positioning. Until we get to right here. Yeah, I think this is the perfect spot. This is where we're going to uh, leave off our Aldera sealing electric fields. And we're also going to place a wall dart right here. This is going to be a reload speed one, and we're going to place it here. It's going to shoot into the tunnel. This is actually going to help a lot with the smashers, right? Because everything realistically till maybe like round like 18 is going to die of these sealing electric fields. Um, and the smasher is going to walk up right here and he's going to get hit by this wall dart. And it's going to take a lot of health off of him. So like he can die pretty quickly into this portion of the tunnel. Um, so that's why we have this wall dart here because they're amazing at killing smashers. All right. So now we're going to have our reload speed broadside right here. This is just a crit rating, reload speed damage, crit damage durability broadside. We're going to have a... Um, I want to say this is a blue sound ball. On the back side of this, we're going to have a heals builds attached. So heals builds attached um, wall dynamo. Um, and this is because you can experience phasing. Because we are using a broadside right here, some of the smaller husks, like a, maybe a midget uh, huskling, get back here. Um, and this is just to kill them. And it also helps with propanes in case they explode right here. We're going to place a Aldera 2 reload speed sound wall. Uh, and we're going to find that and it's going to be on this left wall as long as well as like a healing dynamo on this right wall and that's just going to be our reload speed one we're going to have another one this is going to be a purple reload speed sound wall it's going to be on this left side and we're also going to have the reload speed uh broadside and realistically um i'm not joking um nothing gets past this point except for smashers and they pretty much die as soon as they touch about right here uh, in this side of the tunnel. The main reason I have it so extended is for that rare spawn. Uh, so the rare spawn can come through here and die. But you'll find on like wave 23, smashers are so overwhelming that they will get into this portion of the tunnel, um, but they'll, they'll die. Um, if not, they have a smasher bridge to run and we'll go over that smasher bridge in this video. We're gonna keep going forward. And we're going to have a reload speed, or I think this is a crit build uh, wall dynamo. And we're going to have a crit load speed uh, wall dynamo right here. And we're going to have a reload speed wall dart right here. All right. And so that reload speed wall dart will be able to shoot through this wall. And this wall dynamo will go off as well. We're going to have our crit build uh, ceiling electric field. So crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability. We're going to have one here. And I'm just making sure I get all of these perfect for y'all. We're going to have two three, four. All right. We're going to have one right here. And I think that's it for the ceiling electric fields right there. So I'm actually going to do something real quick. You see how my mouse gets in the way? I'm going to place it over here in the corner. For some reason, it pops up on the screen when I'm recording. Makes no sense to me. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to take our uh, crit build wooden floor spikes. He's going to have heals builds attached and we're going to place it right here. And then I have a three impact wall launcher, right? Um, why? Uh, you guys don't see this very often and it has heals builds attached on it, by the way. Uh, you guys won't see it very often that we're recycling in this candy anymore because of the CC uses. But if you look at it, there's not much that kills the CC except for these broadsides right here. And then the wall dynamos potentially stun them. But there's going to be enough uses left where this wall launcher can work. We're also going to have an Aldera 2 reload speed uh, sound wall right here. I don't think this sound wall is actually too necessary, uh, but it was there from previously, so I never removed it. All right. We're going to keep going forward into our tunnel and we're going to come right here and there's going to be an Alder ability, not Alder ability. Um, a crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability, ceiling drop trap. And we're going to make sure that we're facing it back towards this way uh, so that the husks get pushed backwards and not towards their objective. Same with this one. We're going to face it back towards the tunnel. All right. We're going to keep going forward. And this is going to be an all durability to reload speed uh, wall launcher. This is just in case a husk gets right here. It'll go boop and they're going to be back here and they have to walk up it again. We're gonna have our ceiling gas trap. Um, I love ceiling gas traps in this. Um, 
they're just a, offer a lot of consistent damage um and by the way chat we're gonna we're gonna go over this once again because i see a lot of people uh bashing my use of the sound walls like this they're like oh you don't understand trigger radius <laughs> no guys the whole reason i do this is because say this sound wall goes off right um it's gonna have we're gonna go into some math it's gonna have a 6.5 second reload time right so 6.5 seconds after this sound wall goes off it'll go off again if a husk is there right say this one this one's or that was the blue one this one's the alder two reloads the blue one all right so let's go find our blue one this one's gonna have 7.1 seconds uh and it'll go off right so if a husk walks right here triggers this triggers this triggers this right um this will come back up slower than it will this one so the husks that pass through here and this doesn't go off on this one might hit it because it's on a faster reload time and vice versa this husks might have passed it but this one will come back up and the husk behind it will hit it so you'll see that these are all going off at different times after the initial um reload goes off and i see a lot of people not understanding that and that's the basic principle of it is we want these sound walls all going off to hitting different husks um not the initial burst the initial burst clearly is going to have them on the same um trigger on the same husk say a big smasher walks through here and he makes it through yeah sure they're all going to get triggered by it but then they're going to be on different reload rates to hit different things um so i just want to clear that up because i saw some confusion um and i had a lot of people being like you need to learn how to build um what anyways we're going to keep going forward we're going to take our ceiling gas trap right here it's going to be our best consistent damage dealer ceiling trap we're going to place it here this is going to be just the typical crit build one we've been using we're going to have our reload speed broadside. We're going to place it here and we're going to have our crit damage uh, broadside here. Same reasoning as the sound walls, right? Um, if both of these go off initially, if things follow it up, this one's going to reload faster than this one. So this will go off. Um, and then if a husk passes by the time these haven't both reset, then this one will go off type of deal. See, there's a there's a method to it, guys. We're gonna have our ceiling gas trap and we're gonna place it here. And we're gonna have an all Dura two reload speed wall launcher. And this is gonna push back. We're gonna keep going forward. We're gonna have a crit build wall spikes or one floor spikes and we're gonna place it here as well as our same little broadside setup. So the reload speed one and we're gonna have our uh, crit rating double crit damage damage one. We're gonna have our wall darts. These are gonna be the crit build ones like the heavy hitting ones, we're gonna place it here. All right. And I wanna say, did I not have wall dart shooting there? Oh, I didn't. All right, well, we're gonna also have them right here. Um, solely cause I don't care necessarily about the reload speed here. This is just the one shot the husks or the smashers, right? So if he gets hit by this wall dart right here, and we also wanna catch smashers if they get to this point with this heavy hitting uh, wall dart. We're also going to place a retractable floor spike. This is going to be our heavy hitting one. Damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, durability. Right here. And another gas trap. Um, just for that consistent damage, right? And those gas traps are going to be on both those ceilings. Alright. So we finished that side of it. And like I told you, this is going to be a long video, so strap in. Alright, so we finished our right side. Now we have to work on our middle area. Um, and this is gonna be a little bit, I'm not gonna say confusing, but I like I like this tunnel. Okay, so now we're on to this middle section right over here. And we're gonna be taking them right up this ramp and dropping them down here. So the way we're gonna be doing that is we're gonna place first a wall right here. Um, this is gonna have a sound wall on it later, but we're gonna have a floor, a floor, wall, 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 wall actually not wall right here i'm a dumbass and we're gonna have a ceiling ceiling here we're gonna continue and we're gonna have a wall here a floor here a cone a wall and a wall all right and this is gonna be the start of our tunnel and we'll just have like a little bit of a gas trap tunnel right here. we're gonna keep going forward we're gonna have a floor wall wall floor Keep going through the tunnel. All right. And we're going to have a edited low wall right here. 
with a full wall behind it right here. And we'll, we'll have like a wall dart, wall dynamo combo. We'll keep going forward and we'll have a wall right here, a ceiling tile. A floor right here. Um, I don't think this is a bad ramp. Uh, yeah, this isn't a bad ramp. My feet are flush to it. Uh, so they can path up this. We'll have a wall here. Here. We'll have another wall right here. Here and here. A ceiling tile above. Walls connecting all the way down. Uh, I don't have one right here. Um, I mean, a lot of these aren't necessary, these walls, but I do have them. We'll have a wall here. So I need to go back through this though, um, solely because uh, I want to make sure I get every trap placement for y'all. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to have a wall here, floors lining this all the way down to right here, and walls lining this all the way down. All right, and then we're going to have ceiling tiles above each of these tiles. We'll keep going forward, and we'll have a wall right here, a wall here, 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 here. We'll have a ceiling tile. We'll have a floor tile here, a wall tile here. Um, and as we keep going forward through this, uh, we'll, we'll add more and more. So we'll then have a uh, wall tile on top of this right here. We'll have, um, so we'll come over right here. We'll have a ceiling tile here, a windowed wall right here. Um, and then we'll have a little edited low wall like this right here. Um, and this feeds into our sinkhole east build. Uh, we have them coming through this bottom section right over here. Um, so that, that feeds into our build perfect. So once we have that, uh, we're going to add just a couple more little things. We'll add a floor at the top of this. We'll add a wall back here. We'll have a floor, ceiling tile, a ceiling tile, and a ceiling tile right there. All right, and that should complete that little tunnel's building area. Um, there's a couple little things to block off, but it's not necessarily, oh, this is a ceiling tile too, of course. Um, but yeah, let's go over the traps for this section. So we're going to first have our all durability one re reload speed sound wall. We'll place it here and we'll place it on the other side of the wall. So this is just because it's near this spawn and it's going to get used a lot. And we don't want all the durability uses to run out. So just to make sure I got all this for y'all. All right. We're then going to have a reload speed wall dart. So our crit rating, double crit damage, or crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. We'll have one here. And then we'll have our blue sound wall. So this is going to be our uh, all durability blue reload. We'll have it here and here. We'll have, now I'll give you guys the option. I have a double crit rating, double crit damage heals bills attached. Um, if you guys are worried about propanes, uh, I suggest going to something like an all dura with no physical investment into the element and heals bills attached just because we're utilizing it for the slow. But I'm lazy. <laughs> and I didn't feel like riding a bunch of wooden floor spike uh, traps out. So we're going to take our ceiling gas trap and we're going to place one here and here. And we're also going to place one right here. We're going to take an all durability two reload speed sound wall. And we're going to place it here as well as a broadside. And this is going to be a reload speed one there. And we're also going to have a floor freeze trap. So this is going to be an all durability two reload speed. And make sure you guys are facing towards the south then look down. Place that so it knocks them backwards. We're going to keep on going forward. There's going to be a purple reload speed sound wall. So this one, all durability, one reload speed that's legendary and one that's purple. And we're going to have it here. And then we're going to have a reload speed wall dynamo right on this wall. So is that the reload speed one? I have a hard time finding that. It's right here. And then we'll have a reload speed uh, wall dart here. All right. And that'll be shooting across into the same. We'll have a ceiling electric field on the ceiling above. This is going to be a crit build one. Crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability. We'll place it here. And we're going to keep going through the build. 
we'll have a tar pit right here just in case their cc uses aren't used up they'll get stuck in this tar pit and they'll hit a gas trap at the top of this and this is going to be our crit build gas trap we're going to have a wall dynamo on the right and the left side of this so this is going to be your I crit damage one, and we're going to have a reload speed one on the other side. Alright, and then we'll have a wall dart. We'll just have a reload speed wall dart here. Uh, so let's go find our reload speed, and we'll place it right here. Now, I do have a ceiling drop trap right here on this ceiling tile. Honestly, probably doesn't do too much, but just make sure you have it facing towards the north. Uh, drip, like, facing them, pushing them back towards the north if you have it there. All right, so we're gonna keep dropping down um, and we're gonna do kind of just like a similar build, but we're gonna do a high crit damage wall dart. So the crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability one, and we're gonna place it here. We're gonna place our wooden floor spikes with heals builds attached here. And the basic of this tunnel is basically going to be uh, broadsides and retractable floor spikes and ceiling gas traps. So we're going to have our alternating broadside. So reload speed on this side. And we'll have our um, high damaging ones on this right side. We'll have our retractable floor spikes. So our heavy hitting retractable floor spikes. And then I, I put a wooden floor spike here just to slow down like a mini boss or a smasher as they walk through up here. We'll have a hard hitting wall dart on the end of this. Um, just making sure. I might not even have this set of tiles. I don't even think I have this on mine. Yeah, I think I just leave this open. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we're just gonna leave that section open and we're gonna have our gas trap one, two, right here. And that should be good. Yeah, I'm just checking it and that, that's how I have it, okay? As we continue forward, we're going to have a wall dart or a wall dynamo right here. Um. Don't really know why I have a wall dynamo here instead of a wall dart. I think it's solely due to the fact that um, I used to launch them with a wall launcher right here, back here, before the CC update. Um, so that's probably better as a wall dart, but I just haven't changed it all too much. We're going to have a wall dart. This is going to be a crit rating, double crit damage, damage reload, or like no reload on it, and it's going to be right here, and we're going to place it here. We're going to have our flame floor girl trap, we're going to place it here. We're going to have our staggered broadsides, so reload speed one here, um, the high crit damage one here. And we're going to have a ceiling electric field here. Now the ceiling electric field is solely for uh, sinkhole east, as I don't expect anything to actually make it to this point for um, sinkhole north. Um, but as they're bending around this corner for sinkhole east, they'll get hit by that ceiling electric field. I then have a gas trap. Um, this is just going to be a crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration gas trap. We're going to place it here. As well as I have a uh, crit rating, double crit damage, damage wall dynamo here. All right. Uh, we're going to keep going forward. We're going to have a reload speed wall dart here. A reload speed wall dart here and a reload speed wall dart here. I have all these reload ones right here solely because uh, Sinkhole East, if there is a husk that gets up to this point, um, first there's going to be a retractable floor spike here, but there's all these chances for the wall darts to hit. And a couple of these wall darts see these two wall darts right here and here. Those two will be able to hit a husk. Um, I'm not going to say reliably, but it can hit a husk and that's what we're wanting. This is like, oh shit, they've made it really far into the tunnel type of traps. We're then going to have our uh, high crit build ceiling electric fields, and we're going to have two right here. So that's going to be our main trapping right here. Uh, we're going to have a couple more traps built into our smasher bridge, but we're not there yet. We'll build the smasher bridge at the very end of the video. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to go all the way up top. And uh, this is going to be... A tad bit on the weird side but we're gonna go all the way up here now this spawn um naturally the husks 
Some of them want to drop down here. Some of them want to drop all the way over here and drop around. And some of them want to come down here. All right. So we're going to try to get everything to drop down this way and go into our pre-existing tunnel. So we're going to step right here and we're going to place one, two, three walls. We're going to place three floors above it. Um, theoretically, I think a flinger can throw from here. So that's why we have these three floors. But we're going to have a wall on the end of it right here. We're going to step behind it. And we're going to place a cone facing the northwest, cone facing the north, cone facing the northeast, walls behind it, cone facing the northwest, cone facing the north, cone facing the northeast. And then I have two walls here. I have this third wall is not necessary because if they were falling from right here, it'd be from like five tiles. But theoretically, they could drop three tiles right here. So one, two, three. Um, and we don't want that. So that's why we have this uh, two walls instead of this last third one. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to come right here and we're going to place a ramp facing the north. Ramp facing the north. And then another ramp facing the north as well. I just suck at editing, so give me a second. Let me break that, and we're gonna place this ramp facing the north. Um, this is solely because flingers can throw right here, um, and we don't want them throwing at our amplifier. So this just completely blocks it off. We're going to place a wall right here, and we're going to come and we're gonna place one, two, three uh, floor tiles right here. And this is just more of a uh, flinger prevention. We're gonna come over right here and we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five walls right there. We're going to place a wall here, a cone facing the northwest or northeast. Oh, actually this wall, nah, we're not gonna have that one. Um, that really doesn't do anything because why would they break and go towards this way? We're gonna place a wall here in front of it, a wall here. So if you guys wanna look in relation to it, it's following this line, so one, two. And then there's going to be a cone facing the northwest. We're going to have this surrounded in walls. Boom. We're going to have a cone facing the northeast. We're going to surround that in walls except for on this drop off side. And we're going to have a cone facing the northeast as well right here. And this is going to be completely surrounded in walls. Now, I used to have an ass ton of block off here. Uh, for those of you guys that didn't know, all of this used to be kind of like layered all the way back to here um i took inspiration from lion and we got away with a lot less uh when we were working on this um so the way we have it is kind of weird but we're gonna go one more layer back so cone uh cone facing the northwest and northeast um and then we're going to do something a little bit different we're gonna let husk go over here because it's not the majority of the husks right it's only a couple of the husks we're gonna let them walk over here into a damage tunnel and this is how I got away with a lot less structures. So we're going to have a wall here and a wall here. We're going to have two floors, ceilings over both of these, a wall here, a windowed wall here, a wall here, and a wall here. All right. And this is going to have uh, traps in it, and they're going to die here. We're going to come right over here. And this is for sinkhole north, but I think we should probably do it right now. Uh, but we're going to have a wall attached here, and we're going to attach it all the way to the ground. So all three of those. And that's just going to provide a little bit more support for this, uh, being attached to the ground and being attached to this. All right, so let's trap up the top. Oh, we haven't even done the, the little casing over here. Um, so we do have a bit of a spawn trap up here, and this is just left over from my previous build, and honestly, it just works really well. So we're going to come right here, and we're going to place one, two, three, four five uh, ceiling tiles there. We're going to place one, two, three, four ceiling tiles, and then one, two, three ceiling tiles. Each of these is going to get an all durability um, ceiling electric field. So we're going to go there. We're going to find our all durability ceiling electric field, and we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, all durability ceiling electric fields and that is a lot I agree with you um, part of the reason why this amp is so beefy is because up here takes a lot of resources we're gonna come over right over here and you'll find that like 
the majority of husks won't come over here, right? You'll find a riot husky sometimes just walks really close to this edge and then goes down, but they shouldn't be pathing this way, but you can get blasters this pass this way. So I do have an all durability, uh, or a three impact, two reload speed, heals, builds, attached wall launcher, and I have it on each one of these walls. This is actually gonna launch the husks all the way back down here, um, which is super huge because they're gonna go through a longer tunnel. We then have our crit build uh, ceiling zappers, uh, in case these go off and um, another husk lines up here to go beat, they're just going to get zapped. And then I have a reload speed uh, wall dart right here, um, just for like a little bit more extra burst damage. We're going to come right over here and we're going to take the same reload speed wall dart and we're going to place one here and one here. We're going to come all the way over here and we're going to place an all durability or uh, crit rating double crit damage wooden floor spike we're gonna place it here um also this tornado um can push husks into here but they seem to actually want to just drop down and then come right to this wall because there's nothing behind this wall so it'd only be breaking one layer versus two so that's a fun little thing we're gonna have our heels built the attached uh, wall dynamo on this wall and this wall we'll have a floor freeze trap so let's go to our all durability to reload speed floor freeze trap. We'll place it here. We'll have our ceiling gas trap above. We'll have a reload speed wall dart. So let's go find our reload speed wall dart. We're going to place it here. And we're going to place it here. Um, the reason I have it here as well is because I was having husks wander over here. Um, like maybe one out of the 10 husks that came over here would wander this way and this will just hit them and kill them. We're also going to have a double crit rating, double crit damage, or not double crit rating, double crit damage, double crit, or double crit damage, crit rating, damage, durability. You guys know the usual uh, wall dynamo. We're also going to have a ceiling gas trap on this tile as well. And we'll have our high hitting uh, wall dart on this tile. Um, so once they get to this point, they get obliterated. Just simple enough. All right. And that should be our top area. So now we have like a drop down that we're going to have to go to. And uh, the drop down is going to be fairly simple. We're just going to let them walk down right here. They're going to drop here, drop here, drop here, and we're, they're going to walk this way. But we kind of have to block this section off. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a little floor tile like that, a little floor tile like this, edited. Um, and that'll serve as like a little bit of block off, um, enough to get them to stop walking that way. And we'll, we'll add a little bit of more measures as well. But first, we're going to start with this wall here. This wall here. So hold on, no, not that wall. This here, this is going to have a window. This is going to have a window. This is going to be a normal wall, a floor, a floor. This is going to be an edited windowed wall. And this is going to be a normal wall. There's going to be a... Okay, well, I can't get back there. Sick. Um, Let's jump right here, see if we can make it. There we go. Let's put a wall here, a cone facing the northwest here. A cone facing the northwest here and a wall. Uh, I also have um, this wall and this here, uh, these two walls. And this is just a little bit extra layering so the husks up here don't want to break this way. Um, and let me verify that I just got that correct. So let's scroll all the way back. Uh, yeah, I did get that correct. Cool. Yeah, I took like 80 screenshots of this, and that's where you'll see me pause like this. Um, I, I've i tried doing these builds um, by memory, and I always make mistakes. Uh, so I've found that I really work well when I'm using screenshots. Even though I remember most of these builds, and I remember a lot, I still can't remember everything. So I, I rely on my screenshots a lot. Um, so we're going to take our reload speed. We're going to place it here. We're going to place a hard-hitting wall dart here. And we're going to then place a wall dynamo here. This is going to be a reload speed one. So we're going to go down to our reload speed wall dynamo and we're going to place it here. And we're going to have our blue reload speed sound wall in this wall uh, for some reload or er, for some sound wall protection for propanes. We're going to have our wooden floor spikes so they slow down a little bit. And we will have another wall dynamo here. This is going to be our crit build one. We're going to have our Aldera 2 reload speed sound walls. So where are those? And we're going to have one right here. We're going to have a floor freeze trap. 
with all durability to reload speed effect duration here. And we'll have a reload speed wall dynamo here. So let's go down to our reload speed one and we'll have it here. And here's one of those things is I get asked in the comments a lot whether I craft my own traps and I do. If you guys want me to go through all of my schematics and show you guys what my account looks like, I can. Um, I just didn't think that was something you guys were interested in. But we're also going to add a reload speed wall dart right through here. Um, and that's because we have that window and it'll shoot through this little cone and through this windowed wall. And believe it or not, I think that's most of the trapping. We just have to focus on the smasher bridge. So let me just check. We got everything done. Cool. So let's go to the smasher bridge. So that's all of our tunneling done. Um, and granted, smashers, anything really don't make it through this tunnel, right? I think this is the farthest anything gets besides the mini boss. And usually they come over here and enter the TP loop and they keep TPing onto this retractable floor spikes and they keep dying. So that's cool. So I'm going to come right over here. Um, and the first thing you'll notice when you do a smasher bridge, um, and we'll have a specific video dedicated to this. No worries, guys. Um, when you're doing a smasher bridge, you got to look where are their charge spots. So a smasher coming out of this tunnel would be charging directly right here. All right. And then a ch smasher coming out of this side will be charging right here. Right. And then we got to look at, all right, um, where can they get onto the bridge or attack the walls from? Um, generally, this is a really close spot to the amplifier right here. So smashers have a tendency to walk towards it from there, um, as well as they might be able to path up right here, right? Um, and we can make a smasher bridge there. So this is the way we're going to do it. And we're going to make the smasher bridge the initial way I had it. And then I'll show you guys the lesson I learned on it and how I made it better. So we're going to start up here and we're going to place a floor right here. We're going to place another floor and then, wow, I don't know what that happened. And then another floor right there. We're going to place a floor to the west and we're going to edit a little edit right here. This is going to be a uh, floor with um, the southwest tile taken out uh, so they walk a little bit farther. All right. We're then going to place a floor right here. Now, what's wrong with this floor right here? Well, we got to look at our surroundings, um, and this is something that's just stupid, but it happens. Uh, so if you look, we have this edge right here of this cliff. Now, Smashers, I have seen it. If we don't edit um, this build, we don't edit this like this. Smashers will walk all the way around here, all the way up here, all the way here. They will come over here. They will drop onto the bridge right here if it's unedited. So we have to have this edited so they don't do that. So uh, that's something fun I've learned. We're then going to uh, place another floor, but if you look at it, it has the same issues. So we have to edit it like this, right? So no smasher can drop onto that from those uh, three spots. So the diagonal to the west and to the south, they can't drop onto it. We're gonna keep going forward. Um, and I just have this edited at this point. Uh, nothing can get on it right here, um, but I have it edited like this. We're going to have a floor here, but if you notice, they can walk onto the bridge right here. Um, granted, I can't really walk onto it, but a smasher can. Um, and you'll have them walk over here, walk onto this, and go attack your walls up here. So we're going to edit a northwest tile of this. We're then going to place a floor this way. I, no, wait. Yeah, we're going to uh, do a floor to the east, and then we're going to do an edited low wall like this. Boom, boom. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I remember back when we were doing our Twine series, uh, mini bosses on their TP loop uh, sometimes broke these walls. Um, not consistently, but we found that like going from the outside like this, I think it was Quickshot who uh, saw a difference with it. I haven't really put in too much testing, but if you do it from the outside instead of standing from the amplifier, they break it less often. So if you're like this, you're using the inside of the wall as the outside. It's just stupid, uh, honestly, um, but I think it does make a difference. So we're going to go from the outside and place these walls here. Boom, boom. And we'll do like sort of the same thing right here. So we want the outside facing. So we're going to have here and here, and then we're going to have a floor. Um, I mean, I'll do more experiments into that because um, I think it really will 
matter, but I can't confirm it just yet. So once we have that, we got to put in our lobber protection, right? Because we don't have enough structures around the amplifier. So we use our little half little archways right here. And we're going to place them all around the amplifier. But um, once we get our lobber protection in place, we have to think of another thing, right? Um, now the smashers that walk up here and charge from the bridge, they're going to charge right here and they could accidentally clip this. So we want to actually edit this into a half arch like this, uh, right where their charge spot is. All right, and these shouldn't be here, this little edit. In the um, notice how nothing is within three connection tiles of the amplifier. Um, none of my walls. And that's by design so that like, boom, 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 right? None of these are within three connection tiles uh, so that the smashers charge and walk the bridge fine. So now we're just going to add a little support right over here. Um, and I just have it as this little low wall. And then I have a half arch right here. Um, so now here's the lesson I learned, right? Um, smashers don't like rigid terrain very much. Uh, and this really, I'm not going to say it broke the build, but it definitely didn't help. So we're going to come right over here and smashers really don't like this area all too much. Um, all these rigid terrain right here. So we're just going to give them a way up. We're going to add a cone right here facing the south, a floor and a floor. Um, and they should walk up this perfectly fine. There's a chance for them to phase here, but quite literally in like about a hundred runs I've run of this, um, they've only done it once phasing there. Um, and it didn't actually even matter because he then path perfectly up this way. Um, but there is a chance that can happen where they don't like this area. So that's, that's why we have it there. But yeah, I think that's literally it for the build. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it's a lot. Um, and I think we have a ceiling electric field here, by the way. So this ceiling electric field is also an oh shit ceiling electric field in case the husk get like to right here. One extra uh, little two structures that we need to add is I just completely forgot about this when I was doing it, but we're going to come down here and we're going to add these two edited floors. So we're going to place two floors here and we're going to edit them like this and we're going to fully upgrade them. Um, it's kind of necessary because for some reason smashers want to go through this way if uh, those aren't there. So yeah, add those. But that's about it for the build. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's a long video, um, but I hope you guys learn a lot from it. I don't like to speed run these builds because I like to explain everything that goes on with it. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.